In this video we're going to look at vertically opposite angles. So what I've drawn is I've drawn two lines that intersect. Intersect is a word in maths that means cross. So we've got two lines that cross each other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the size of this angle, this angle, this angle and this angle. I'm just going to do that now and then I'll sort of show you the results. Okay, I've measured the angles and I found that uh, the obtuse angle was 130, this acute angle was 50, this obtuse angle was 130, and this acute angle was 50. I've noticed that the angles that are opposite each other, this one and this one, are equal to each other. And also, these angles that are opposite to each other are equal. So, vertically opposite angles mean that whenever you've got two lines that intersect or cross each other, that the opposite angles will be equal to each other. This diagram shows it quite well. So, if you've got two lines that intersect, the opposite angles are equal, so obviously A equals A and B equals B. That can be shown quite easily because if you had, for instance, that this here was just say 160 degrees, so, then because it's a straight line, this then would be 20 degrees because it's a straight line. Then because these two are in a straight line, because that one's 20, well then this one must be 160 degrees because these two are in a straight line with each other. And finally, because this one is in a straight line with that one, well if that's 160, well this needs to be 20. So it sort of makes sense using sort of basic angle properties. And if you just check, the whole thing adds up to 360. So this is a typical exam question on vertically opposite angles. Normally these are included in parallel line questions where you've got alternate and corresponding angles. So watch the videos on alternate and corresponding angles as well. So here we've got a typical question. You've got X, Y, 135, 145 and 135 degrees. And you've been asked to find out what X is and Y is. Now, you can actually work out easily that what y is from the 135 and you could, or 145, and you can also work out what the x is from the 35. But because x is equal to opposite the 145, straight away you could just write down 145 there. And because the y is opposite 35, you could just write down y is equal to 35. So these are vertically opposite angles. Whenever you get two lines that intersect, the opposite angles are going to be equal to each other.